It's that time. Time, time, time. Lock and load. The Michael Berry Show is on the air. Talk of race and mean cops and black people get being killed. No one cares, at least nobody black, when black people kill black people. And man, oh man, don't black people kill black people. And now, the Michael Berry Show presents the Chicago Weekend Crime Report. And what a weekend it was. The mayor and his minions started the practice of locking up some of the 1,400 people they had identified as causing 80% of the violence across the Windy City. Summer crime spree has just gotten worse in the wake of that. There are more stepping up. This is a business, remember? As of this morning, 485 people have been murdered in Chicago this past year. 82 of those in August alone. At this rate, you can expect to see over 700 people killed in 2016. But that's all right. It's not Chicago's fault. It's because guns, guns are what are doing this. Not in every case, but in enough. It's the guns' fault. The weekend butcher bill, nine dead, 58 wounded. Same weekend last year, six dead, 38 wounded. 50% more murdered. 100% more wounded. Friday, 3.30 p.m., Nikea Aldridge, 32, walking with a man and pushing her baby in a stroller. When two men walked up to her companion, started arguing, and then started shooting. Miss Aldridge, a mother of four, was shot in the arm and in the head. She died at the hospital. Her baby, fortunately, was not hurt. Her companion was not hurt. Miss Aldridge is basketball star Dwayne Wade's cousin. Two brothers. Darren Sorrells, 22, and his 26-year-old brother, Darwin, have been charged in the attack. <clears throat> we'll tell you later why the shooting occurred. It's quite telling, actually. Friday, 6.15 p.m., 55-year-old Robert Kraft was walking down the sidewalk when gunfire broke out between the conservative vice lords and members of another game. Mr. Crack was Mr. Kraft was struck in the left side of his chest and died at the scene. Friday, 6.15 p.m., 35-year-old Raymond, oh, sorry, Ramon Tolbert was sitting in a car when someone got out of a nearby vehicle, walked up to Mr. Tolbert and shot him in the head. He, too, died at the hospital. Saturday, 3.35 a.m., 21-year-old Dylan Dent riding in a car near his home when a blue vehicle passed by and a man with dreadlocks opened fire. Mr. Dent was struck in the left shoulder and died at the hospital. 24-year-old male driver of the car was shot in the right leg. Saturday, 12.15 p.m., 19-year-old Mahadi Herring was part of a group fighting over some inconsequential thing when someone got bored with the whole project and pulled out a gun. 17-year-old man was shot in the leg, 35-year-old man shot in the neck. Mr. Herring, however, was shot in the head and the back, and of course he died at the hospital. Sunday, 12.15 a.m., officers on patrol heard shots and found 30-year-old DeMarco Richards on the ground with a gunshot wound to his head. He was pronounced dead at the scene. An 18-year-old woman also shot in the left foot, and a 25-year-old man came in with gunshot wounds to his buttocks and right ankle. My God, nine dead, 58 wounded. This is worse than Afghanistan. This is a war zone. Saturday, 12.35 a.m., a 38-year-old man had just parked his car when five men walked up to him and shot him several times. He died at the scene. Sunday, 10 a.m., 
Popo on patrol found a 45-year-old man dead in an alley with a gunshot wound to his head. Sunday, 4.20 p.m., 20-year-old Terrence Murphy was hanging out on the sidewalk when someone walked up to him and shot him in the abdomen. He died at the hospital. Friday, 12.40 p.m., 25-year-old man sitting as the passenger in a vehicle when a person on the sidewalk started shooting. The victim was grazed in the head and shot in the back. Friday, 1.45 p.m., a 23-year-old man involved in a verbal altercation when someone escalated by pulling out a gun and popping the victim in the right leg. You know what? Time and date, we got to just put aside to get through all these remote because it's important. It's the sheer totality and senselessness of black-on-black -black crime that must be exposed. 35-year-old man sitting in the car with a female companion. Someone walked up and shot him, one in the forehead. The woman hit by flying glass. 39-year-old, very uncooperative man taken to the ER with a gunshot wound to his right arm. 32-year-old woman riding in the car when another passenger in the back seat who was playing with a gun accidentally shot her in the lower back. Think Pulp Fiction. 18-year-old man shot in the chest. Two 24-year-old men sitting in a car. Suspect walked up, shot both of them. 22-year-old male, documented gang member, showed up to the ER with four gunshot wounds to his chest and his back. A 44-year-old man taken to the ER with a gunshot wound to the upper right arm. 25 and 35, 25 and 31-year-old man standing on a porch when an unknown offended, offender started shooting him, shooting at him. The 25-year-old has a concealed carry license. He returned fire, even though he had been shot in the back. 22-year-old man was shot in the right arm and leg. 22-year-old man shot himself in the right ankle. 15 and 22-year-old, one shot in the right arm, other in the left knee. 16-year-old male shot in the left leg. 23-year-old shot multiple times in the torso. 28-year-old woman and 37-year-old man both shot. 19-year-old man riding a bicycle when someone on foot shot at him. 50-year-old man riding on a bicycle when someone shot him. A 33-year-old uh, man shot in the head, the right arm, and both legs. Be on the lookout for, we got a bolo for a silver vehicle. That's what we got, Ramon. 18 and 20 year old hanging out and were shot when someone in a black vehicle drove by. 26, 27 and 32 year old man, men all shot, one of them in the face. 20 year old man took himself to the ER, multiple gunshot wounds to the body. 28 year old man shot in the right leg during a robbery. That's the problem with robberies nowadays. You end up getting shot, no fun. 37-year-old man sitting in a parked car was shot. Three men, 25, 32, and 38, and hanging out on the left corner, all shot. 32-year-old man sitting on his porch when he was shot. 21-year-old man on the sidewalk, someone in a blue truck this time shot him. 30-year-old man, <clears throat> you never know what somebody's gonna steal before they go shoot somebody. 30-year-old man shot in the abdomen while driving. Car ran off the road, struck two kids. Uh, man shot. I don't get the age on that. 16 and 17 year old standing outside. Someone in a blue car. Open fire. 26 year old man shot. 17 year old. 19 year old. 24 year old. 18 year old man walking along. Someone in a silver car shot him. 50 year old man driving along. Someone on the sidewalk shot him. 17 year old. Two women. 17 and 18 shot in an alley. 34 year old parking his car. Someone shot him. 28 year old and 35 year old standing on the porch when one of them was shot in the buttocks. The other in the chest. And a 22-year-old suffered a graze wound to the old face, and he is not cooperating. There you have it. The Michael Berry Show. The Michael Berry Show.